Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for the EDM Sessions, episode 123, and we keep on making music in real time for you guys' enjoyment, and of course for you guys to enjoy, to learn some cool music production tricks. Today, again, I'm gonna make music I love, because I love all music, because, you know, music is really the love of my life, except for my wife and my child and other things, of course. But today we're gonna really, 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 really slow things down. We're gonna go 85 BPM. I'm gonna make you guys some trip on. So if you've seen the video before, you're gonna see it's not arranged. Everything is real time. I make music like it is. It's a creative process. I do not edit anything. And you know, I'm doing this intro. I don't really know how it will turn out. I mean, I set up a BPM. I have an idea. I want to create a certain group, but I never know what's gonna happen, which is great. So guys, watch the episode, of course. Watch the other 122 episodes, I make drum and bass, I make house, I make trance, I make progressive, I make most of the time completely from scratch or from maybe some MIDI chords or something like that, but it's a very, so you can see the creative process, the mixing, I also do mastering episodes, I do arranging episodes, so it's all about it, and I would take the final project from Logic Pro S, put it as a template on our site, we make music.com for only five bucks. So you get the tutorial, you get the template, put things together, only watch the tutorial if you like, get the template, get to the, ne get to the next level, go deep into the sounds and learn things with me, Mikas, your host. So, let's get started guys. So, 85 BPM, I think really guys, I think it's, it's probably the first or the second time in my life I make a track at this BPM, but I think it is the right BPM, I'm thinking... Massive Attack, Portish Head, maybe some Chemical Brothers, some Slow Tracks, some, you know, something different, you know, because it's nice to the music, but you always have to push a bit the boundaries because Comfort Zone is only... If you stay in Comfort Zone say, hey, I make some good trance, it's good for you, but, you know, how about you go outside of Comfort Zone and you make some trip up, as an example. So I have my kit from uh, Drum Machine Designer. I use only or mostly Logic Pro X plugins, rarely others. So I have my, oh, I didn't. I have a different snare here. I'm gonna put the metronome because this is slow. So I do everything in the time you see, so let's go. You know. I'm gonna set my locators, I'm gonna go into the MIDI. I'm gonna control A Q Sound good to me. So I'm gonna divide the MIDI now. I'm gonna take this MIDI part here for the kick. Because if you want to mix things properly, at least in my opinion, things have to be divided by sounds, it all have to be individual, so. so. That's it, guys, so we have a really small bass. I think for this type of music, though, percussions, I would say, <laughs> I wouldn't say very important, I would say extremely important, if we're talking trip-hop, talking about stuff like that. A good trick, guy, alternate arrows, so you can move the MIDI where you want it to be. There was a zap, there was a snare, the clap. I don't think I will put it on beat like this, but maybe here. No, not so put the snare so much. Okay, maybe one, one and three. I'm doubtful of this idea. Not with the snare again. Maybe I would take only one. Yeah. I have a second kick here that could be interesting. Not too sure what type of kick it is, so let's explore again. Up. Oh. So it is a smaller, more. A 
little bit of beat. Have fun with it. Maybe one more. I'm gonna set the rhythm, but yeah, like this, it's almost trappy reggae. I'm gonna go into some hi hats. I think I'm gonna do a pretty regular hi hat pattern. It's so slow anyway, I'm not sure what the effect is gonna be for hi hat in there. And right in a second. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is holding things together, I would say. for a little bongo. say an answer there's a perk here that I think would be cool sometimes I keep the exact same pattern sometimes I don't oh yeah instruments in my head and I'm uh, I mean it is very different than anything I do so there's a noise here and you can add a little bit of a swoosh at the start to mark Second shaker alternate pattern here. Hmm, I like that. Okay, seems my not a lot in the background here. So you can also of course move the MIDI parts by using the same thing, alternate or option and arrows, very useful. Yeah, I think we're good for some bass. I'm gonna make myself a bit of room here because I, I, I want to jam. By the way, those EDM sessions used to be called electronic music jam sessions, but it was just too long, so I had to cut it. Because it's really all about jamming and composing and making music in real time, so. I think I want to go straight with the bass line. That's gonna be randomly. Here, shall do clean distorted nasty metallic called noisy detune. <sighs> this is tough. Ten fat 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 always work, right? Mostly with fat with like a P. Yeah, that's a bit too fat.
little. I mean, it's not quite a base, but I think we we're gonna make it into a base. Yeah, quantize, chop at four, and then pick this and edit a little. To me, it has a certain attitude. Let's listen. Quite what I'm looking for, but cool. I'll make it a bit longer. Hmm. Just need this. Then next up, I would I would go first. I'm going to create a sand. I'm going to create a bus here. I'm going to do big room reverb. Reverb, silver verb stereo. My preset grandiose. It's not so much mine anymore because I use it in every project. So if you got <laughs> one of my projects, you probably have this. And then um, I did in keys, but I think I will go in pads. And I want to go low. I want to go high. I want to. Sound like take my breath away. So now, let's have a bit of juice. bring it down a whole octave. Hmm. I would double it. Probably one full and one lower. Not necessarily with the same sound. So 
just the bottom. But with the top here. Ooh. Ideas are coming, guys. That's a good sign. I would do a simple pattern here. Like this. Cut this here. Bring this here. And then another one. And another one. And then another one. And then one more. And this one I'm gonna make it short. And voila. And then we're gonna repeat here. volume of this make sure I have the right the right version of alchemy again There, but they're very minimal in the back. Ooh, one of my favorite setup, my favorite um, patch, Signs of Life, Pink Floyd uh, Signs of Life track. If you haven't heard it, from Enter Lapse of Reason, if you like prog rock. the sound. better low and ice bar. This is more intriguing, eclectic. Yeah, it's got that tone. Very nice. It's not really what I was after. I was after more like a baseline, like a punchy, like a punchy something. This is cool. 
but it's not quite a bass line. Like I would like something more. Again, this is a nice kind of sound. Got some depth to it, but it's not like a sub, like a low. So I mean, for me, this type of music, you need some low, some something to support the tracks, the tracks on foundation or something. So we gonna go back into bass and is there a tick? Tin, fat, nicey, nasty, metallic, I like something fat, something mysterious now, something complex, clean, distorted, bright, dark, thin, fat, nice, nasty, smooth, maybe. If I go into the, the suburb, the lower registry and smooth, smooth and it's aggressive, thin bass, well, whatever. Tough tune, but whatever. What's important is the feeling, not the correctness. Those two are definitely in tune. Maybe I'll go lower. Yep. That no. close to each other, I don't like it. It's gonna work. It's nice, but it's not in a variation. choice to be I mean harmony is there I still like better this I think if I cut if I cut the the, the mid lows or I think I'll be able to clean it so there wouldn't be this is a little bit of dissonance but do I care really? Just the sub. Mm, I still have a problem with it. 
it, so no. better with this only if I chord it like this no this just doesn't go there so let's see you can go one more then it's sound out of place so the top part because it's, it's richer however I'm gonna brow some bass a little bit just because we can to a trip up track here 85 bpm so we're missing of course a lead which is essential to any track really it might not be the biggest craziest thing but it, it, it to me it has to be you know it's it's been practicing 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 and then you get a good lead on top of your of your creation the tracks just made wow man this is and the simplest the better two three keys sometimes two keys enough no need more no need to break your head on the wall to make something complicated extraordinary better no i need to be simple and enjoyable i think my reverb is a bit loud
here is more melancholic and then more uplifting here. Okay, okay, okay. I said no com not too complicated <laughs> and then this doesn't make too much sense, but it's, it's good. I felt it. I really, really felt this one, guys. Woo! Yeah, let's quantize it, maybe. Well, quantize it and then I uh, lose the first key. Dreamy. It's a bit more open the cut up a little bit. We gonna save this, 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 this. This is episode number twenty-three, guys. about this last little beat here so feeling that already I'm gonna go here I'm gonna actually replicate the track I'm gonna use a bit of a different sound to answer this part two Slow attack, so the filter is gonna open, but uh... oh, but I forgot to remove this one. This is why.
So guys, that's gonna be it for episode 123 of the EDM sessions. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Really felt this lead when it came in. I still feel it right now. Really nice to be inspired to put something out for you guys. And if you have a couple of minutes, guys, check out our site, we make dance music.com. We have over 5,000 dot templates, almost 10,000 sample packs, acapellas. We got acapella covers. We got a lot of stuff that a lot of the marketplace other sample pack sites don't have that is very exclusive to us we have remakes of the hottest tracks for Ableton and Logic it's amazing guys check it out and of course I'm gonna package this template gonna put some more work into it make it perfect for you guys and you can get it for only five bucks so imagine that remix this track for five bucks and until next time may the sound be with you guys <laughs>